Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's tutorial, I built this fun little application, which is a tool that actually converts your text to Morse code. And not only will it convert it and show you what the Morse code itself is, but it also play the sound as well. And then conversely, if you want to take a Morse code and you want to convert it back to text, it's actually going to go ahead and give you the text, but also save the text. So let's put this to the test. Let me first show you how this works, and then we'll go through the code in a second. So if I just make this a little bit bigger, the options are convert text to Morse, convert Morse to text, and then quit. And it's got a little bit of air catching built in as well. So I've got some try accept blocks here um, in case you enter something outside of these parameters. So let's go ahead first and let's convert uh, some text to Morse. So if I hit one here, what it's going to do now is I have to go ahead and type something in. So I'm just going to type hi there. and so. I'm going to be silent for a few minutes because what you're going to hear is you're going to hear the Morse code version of hi there, but you're also going to see the Morse code itself. So let me go ahead and show you that. So that's the Morse code. So what some of you may be thinking is, well, where did this forward slash come from? Morse code is really only made up of uh, dots and hyphens. I just put that in there as a part of my dictionary, which I'll walk you in a second. You don't have to put that in there, but I just denoted that to be any kind of a space in between the letters here. So that's really what that is there for. You don't have to have it. I just chose to put it there. So now I'm going to take this Morse code and I'm going to convert it back into text. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger again. And so I'm, this time I'm going to pick option two because I have a Morse code and I want to convert it back to text. So I hit two. I'm going to paste in my Morse code and let's see what happens. Hi there. So as you heard, the system actually says hi there, which is cool. So, you know, like I said, if some websites will actually use the forward slash, some won't. If not, I can easily show you how to take it out so that you can make this universal uh, and use across the board. So let's go through the code very quickly. It's actually very, very simple code. Uh, most of this code is this long just because I put in some of the air catching. Otherwise, it's a very short code. And you really are going to need three simple modules in this first one i said is let's import play sound and that's really just to play the the midi files or the wave files sorry that i have uh, that's going to indicate whether this is in morse code they call it a dit or a daw a dit is basically a period a daw is a hyphen the second one we're going to import is time and the third one is this is due to do text to speech so this is once it converts it back into english it needs to say the word now what I've done is I've taken the Morse code here um, and I've gone ahead and I've created a dictionary. So for the letter A, this is the Morse code here. For the letter B, this is the Morse code here. Um, I'll paste this in my description so that if you guys want to use it, you can use it. Otherwise, it's available all over the internet. This is not something that I took a whole lot of time to type up. It's literally available almost on every website that you would go ahead and Google Morse code. So then after that, I defined two functions. The one, first one is text to Morse. And in this one, I'm going to go ahead and ask the user to input the text. So I said, enter the text you want to convert to Morse code. In this case, we typed hi there. It's going to take hi there, put the uppercase of hi there. So if I typed it all in lowercase, it's going to make sure it's all uppercase. It's going to do a loop for it through it and say for every letter in hi there, I want to go ahead and pull the equivalent Morse code dictionary key. So for example, it's going to first look at H. It's going to say, all right, so for an I in text, the first letter is going to be H. So let me go ahead and reference what H is going to be here. In this case, H is going to be this right here. It's going to be dot, 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 dot. And you see that down here anyways. That's what it prints. And what it's going to return here, because this is a list comprehension, it's going to go ahead and take that key, whatever it is. In this case, it's upper H. And this is going to return the value. So all this this code here is saying return the value for which the first letter or letter i in the text in this case hi there take the reference code or take the key for whatever that is and return back the value that's essentially what this is saying and then i want to join everything together and make it one big string so that i don't have four dots on one line two dots on another i want to make it one long string and then just print it and then what I said is for every letter in my response here, so this is my response, we'll call this Morse, that's what this is printing out here. For every one of those, if I have a dot, play the dit sound, and if I have a hyphen, play the daw sound. 
Otherwise, if there's nothing in between, in which case it's probably going to be a space, give it about a 0.5 second break so that I can tell the difference between when one word starts and another word ends or when one letter starts and another one ends. And that's really all to it. So this is a very, very simple code here. And then conversely, when we want to go from Morse to text, Again, I'm going to go ahead and this time import the Morse code to convert the text. And now what I've done is I've gone ahead and used this command called Morse code dict items. And this allows you to go through and sift through the key and the value. So in this case, the key is going to be the letter. The value is going to be the Morse code itself. So I said, when I go ahead and enter the Morse code, go ahead and split everything else so that I have a separation. So every time there's a space, I'm going to go ahead and split this out. So the first one is going to be four dots the second one's going to be two dots this is a space itself this is going to be a hyphen four dots one dot and so forth so we're going to split these out and then i'm saying go back and reference the value so if i is equal to v in this case whatever iteration i am on so if this is going to be my first i go ahead and reference up here in the actual values and see which key belongs to it and so we're just working backwards and we're breaking up this morse code we're returning the key based on whatever value this represents. In this case, it's going to be H. And then again, we're going to join the word. We're going to print the word. So once you have all your letters identified, you're going to go ahead and join it to make your word. You're going to print it. In this case, it printed hi there. And then I'm going to go ahead and initialize my text-to-speech. After I've initialized the text-to-speech, it's going to go ahead and say the word. In this case, it's going to be hi there. And then you just run it. And that's really all there is to it. And the rest of this is just really some error catching. So I start off with a print statement. Do you want to convert from text to mores? Do you want to go from mores to text? Or do you want to quit? And then I have some error catchment in here to say that if it's not one, two, or three, then we're going to go ahead and say wrong selection, enter it again, because it's all wrapped in a while loop. So again, a very, very simple code. I thought this would be kind of fun to play around with. I was actually going to do this so that if I had my Morse code print out, I was actually going to grab a Arduino and have a light bulb flash with the Morse code as well. But I figured that just for a beginner's tutorial, this is a good way to get started. And I'd rather have used the sound in this case. Maybe next time I'll, I'll include the light as well. But for now, this is kind of a fun little project. So if you're a beginner, this is a great little project to start with. Go ahead, go ahead online and you can always grab some example text for Morse and input it in here and see if it gives you the right answer. Now, going back to this forward slash here, if you want to go ahead and replace a space with something else, you could just leave it blank if you want. You can put a forward slash. You can put you know, anything you want here. Um, you can go ahead and do that as well. And we haven't tried numbers, but there's numbers in here as well. So go ahead, give this, you know, give this a little play. I'm going to put this uh, source code for you on GitHub as well as the WAV files for you so you can go ahead and play with it. So again, quick little tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.